next massage exercise. Again, just try your best and don't force anything with your dog. You can just try these techniques out. Remember, practice, 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 and all is coming. So see these practices over a long period of time. Now, Robbie enjoys his hot dog position, meaning he likes to be in a supine pose. As you can see, he's pretty fairly relaxed. Now the next one is called paw massage. Very simple, if you see what I'm doing, I have my thumb here, and I trace my thumb on the top of his paw. So maybe getting a close up on this one, a little bit closer in. There we go, you can see where I'm tracing. My thumb is right on the top of his kind of, not heel, but front paws. And in there, you can gently press with your thumb into his paws and do a circular motion. So it's a little bit like acupressure or acupuncture, softening their soles, circular motion. And you can do that with all toes. So they got four here, one, two, three, four, five. Just gently press into it and stimulate the blood flow of the paw. So this way they get a nice little reflexiology. And you can go on forever with this. If your dog is relaxed, just keep going for as long as you want to. You're really doing them a massive favor. Oh, hello. Yes, my Robbie. And the same thing goes here with his paws, front paws. You can do the same thing, gently press, not too hard, very lightly into the padding of his paws. You can also slightly extend and flex his fingers, his front paws, just pressing down a little bit. So we're getting a little bit of an extension here. And then start circular motions, gentle circular motions. And always applying the breath as well when you're massaging for yourself, just to stay mindful and present. Namaste.